Hi, I'm Mike Caruso with The Fisherman Magazine. We're here at the New York Boat Show, and what we've done today is announced our 2006 Dream Boat winner for the Fisherman and Triton Boats 2006 Dream Boat Contest. I'm here with our grand prize winner, Robert Quinn. And if you're not familiar with, uh, with the Dream Boat Contest, you, you need to be. This is an amazing, season-long, region-wide, multi-species, uh, fisherman subscriber only contest for winning this boat we're standing next to. It's a 22-foot center console Triton powered by a uh, 225 OptiMax Mercury engine. It's fully equipped with Lorenz Electronics, Daiwa rods, owner hooks comes with this thing. You've got uh, an X-Tools gaff. You've got uh, uh, all kinds of Boaters World $1,000 gift certificate, um, uh, as well as Yozuri Lures, Berkeley Line, Spider Line. And uh, we thank the New York Boat Show for this opportunity to display this boat. But Robert has won this contest. Uh, he entered a fish this year. Uh, it was a black drum. It was a uh, 50, I'm sorry, 83.7 pound fish. Uh, to win, uh, to win this contest, and uh, you know we're here with Robert. Robert's going to tell us a little bit about his story and uh, where he fishes, and uh, you know this particular catch and what happened on that day. Robert, what happened that day? Because it was uh, a day that really paid off. Yeah, I, I actually wasn't even uh, scheduled to go on the the drum boat trip, but uh, or, I'm sorry, the drum fish trip. I'm actually more of a striper fisherman, um, but I had taken somebody's place that canceled off the trip. And it was my first trip drum fishing. I didn't know what to expect uh, until we actually got out there and started catching these monster drum fish. And uh, it, it really didn't, didn't even occur to me until we were heading back that one of these fish might actually be uh, enterable in the contest. And uh, when I got back to shore, we weighed it and decided to, uh, to bring it down to real life and uh, enter it into the contest. Yeah, let me ask you another question. Now, you say you had multiple fish that day, and this was obviously the largest one of the day, but how many big fish did you have that day? Uh, we, I probably myself, I caught three, and we had about ten on the boat that day. And there was actually one other fish that was larger than mine that day, but he wasn't a subscriber to the magazine. So, gotcha. yeah. Gotcha. Now, um, you know, the spot you were fishing has instantly turned into a, uh, a legendary spot. Now, this is the spot where the dreamboat, you know, the dreamboat winner uh, actually caught his record fish. You care to give us a little info on where you caught it? Um, I'm not too familiar with that area down there. Um, I do know it was off of Cape May and it was in the Delaware Bay, but I'm not exactly sure what the, uh, you know, the exact name of the location was. But it's a, it's a popular spot down there. There was probably, when we started fishing, maybe two boats there. And by the end of the day, there was probably about 20 boats fishing in the same spot for, for drum. Yeah. Gotcha. And uh, so with this new, with this new machine, uh, you know, what do you plan to do with it? gonna put it in the water and fish my first boat never owned a boat before i um, gonna keep it I'm gonna buy a trailer for it and uh, gonna enjoy it my family friends that have been taking me out fishing uh, I guess it's my turn to uh, you know start inviting some people out with me for uh, a day of fishing it's payback time it's payback time and I've always wanted to do some tournament fishing I was always interested in that so I think maybe this year might be the year to uh, you know to, to try that out what, what can you tell us about uh, you know the fisherman the magazine that uh, that really keeps you uh, subscribing year after year. I know you've subscribed for a long time, and you know, when we called you up, you mentioned uh, that you had just renewed your subscription. And uh, you know, what, what is it that uh, turns you on about the book? Uh, I like it because it's weekly. Um, uh, most of the magazines that are uh, you know, a monthly publication, they don't cater towards uh, New Jersey fishing, the type of fishing that I like to do. And um, it's you know reports from places that I fish every day. So I'm reading about something that's really uh, you know, pertains to what I do on a regular basis, and it just keeps it going all year round. So I enjoy it. Exactly, and uh, you know, if you, if there's one thing you could tell people who don't subscribe to the magazine, obviously you know from experience that it does pay big dividends, especially if you you know enter a fish into the Dreamboat contest. But uh, what is it you could tell others that uh, you know is 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 a reason to subscribe? Um, when you have that fish that's big enough, uh, it can only hurt if you don't have the su the, the subscription. I, I like I said, I had a guy on the boat that had a bigger fish than mine, and he would wished he was a subscriber. He did pick the magazine up occasionally from the newsstand, but never subscribed to the magazine. So I know all my friends are going to be subscribers now. The guys that I fish with. Robert, thanks so much. Uh, I'd like to thank all the Dream Boat sponsors once again, particularly Triton Boats for providing this boat, Mercury Marine, Lawrence Electronics, uh, Boaters World, Costa Del Mar, Owner Hooks, Berkeley, Yozuri, Daiwa, Spiderwire, and particularly the New York Boat Show. This is Mike Caruso 
with the Fisherman Magazine saying tight lines and uh, once again congratulations to Robert Quinn. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, it's man. Unbelievable.